G'day YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to partition drive space on your Linux box so that you can uh, resize it to make it larger, smaller, and do whatever you want. So first of all you have to install a utility if you don't already have it called Gparted. So I'm going to install that on my Ubuntu box right now. So I type in sudo apt-get gparted, should I say install gparted, and then I'll ask for a password. Now I've already installed it, so that's just showing you what to do, in Ubuntu at least anyway. Now gparted stands for GNOME Partition Editor. Okay, now since I already have it, I'm going to log into it, or open it up. Now it's in your file menu somewhere along here. But I'm just going to do it by the command terminal because I don't know where it is. It's somewhere in there. <clears throat> now it needs to be opened with uh, sudo because you need you know root permissions in order to play around with it, of course, because it's some serious business. Okay, now as you'll see, the first thing up the top is two massive drives here. Just to let you know, this is my Windows box, and this is my Linux box. Windows 7, Ubuntu Linux. Now, you can see all the partition drives as there are. There's probably about <laughs> about 10 there for me. The two big ones, of course, are the Windows one, which is about 216 yeah, gig, and then the Linux one, which is 220. Pretty evenly sized. Uh, you can tell that I am currently mounted in the Linux drive because it shows you the mount point. Now this is important to know because if you actually want to resize your Linux drive you can't actually do it whilst it's mounted. So what you actually need to do is go to a place called SourceForge, gparted.sourceforge.net and download the actual uh, it's a, a bootable drive that uh, it's like a bootable ISO that allows you to um, customize and change partition of your drive space without actually being mounted. Because if you're mounted, you just can't change it. For example, right click here, I can't resize or move. If I, however, if I right click on the Windows one, I can resize it, make it smaller, bigger, do whatever I want. Okay. Now it tells you the file system type as well, which is, of course, NTFS is uh, generally Windows, sometimes FAT16 or FAT32 is as well. Uh, the ext file system is uh, generally Linux or Unix or whatever you're using. There's a lot of small drives here, as you can see, mostly recovery drives and you know things like that. But it is important to uh, boot up using Gparted as a full uh, operating system basically. I'll just show you what it looks like. I got this a little bit earlier. It's essentially a very empty OS with one or two programs. The main program of which is Gparted itself. Okay, so I think that's about it. Um, boot up through the Gparted ISO as it, it, an actual operating system itself and then take it from there. Um, and it's pretty easy to resize after that. You just have to choose your resize limits and then uh, click the apply button here which is faded out right now and then that's about it. I hope that helps. Any questions just give me a buzz.